am one of 14,000 children that in the early 60s, between 1960 and 1962, were sent on a company to the United States by their Cuban parents um, under uh, an American and Catholic church program called Operation Peter Pan. I arrived in Miami, uh, I was 10 years old, and from there, uh, my brothers and I, who were 11 uh, years old, a year older than me, we were sent to an orphanage in Pueblo, Colorado. And there we stayed for four years until we were reunited with our parents and then lived in Denver for most of my life. Well, in 2001, on my 50th birthday, I returned to Cuba after 40 years of being gone from there. And it was a watershed moment in my life. I met the family I hadn't seen in 40 years. I went to the house that I was born. I went to my father's business and my grandfather's hotel. And it was a very, very moving experience for me. I've reached a point in my life that bearing witness to my experiences is an important thing for me to do. And people can read them and share them. One of the things about Boxing for Cuba, my first book, is that um, it is an experience of immigration in the United States. It's not only the historical account of what happened in Cuba and why the relationship between Cuba and the United States uh, uh, fell apart, but it's also the story of my family and it's my personal story and all the hardships and all the things that we happened that, uh, through immigration, yet we were able to succeed. I mean, one of the, the things that I like to refer to in myself is that I came to this country as an orphan, basically in an orphanage, and I became the 44th mayor of Denver. So I had this voyage from orphan to mayor in the United States. I think the reason my story seems to inspire people is that we love rags to riches stories because they remind us of how we're the hero in our own story, how we go through hardships, how we overcome them, how we develop the grit and perseverance to overcome those hardships. The fact that I'm an immigrant also should remind people who are not immigrants, were born in the United States, that their roots are actually about people just like me, that their parents or grandparents or great-grandparents went through that same thing. And they themselves overcame incredible hardships and helped to build this country to the great country that it is today. And so I think that's where I think touches a lot of people from different backgrounds. I get actually a lot of emails from people from all kinds of different backgrounds, not necessarily Cuban, who say, that's my story. You know, so it's pretty universal. You know, it's been over 50 years that my parents uh, put me on a plane uh, from Havana to Miami and I was able to experience the freedom and, and, and grow in the light of hope and optimism and opportunity that I, that I had in this country. So I wish that for my 11 million brothers and sisters who live in Cuba today. I think the biggest part of, of my struggle wasn't the four years in the orphanage. And that was hard because um, uh, it was like living in Lord of the Flies, you know, where the, the toughest kids rule by violence. And for as hard as that was, being reunited with mom and dad and going through the immigration experience was far, far worse because of the poverty, the discrimination, the culture shock, the wondering from day to day if we would have food on the table or a roof over our, our heads. And to think that my mom and dad gave up everything in their lives. And, you know, we were a, a top, you know, upper middle class family in Cuba. They gave up their businesses, their status. Uh, in many ways, they gave up their marriage because the stress on the two of them uh, destroyed them as people, uh, and certainly their relationship. But when I think about what they sacrificed and the opportunity and the hope that I live in, even today at 67 years old, I think that what my mom and dad did is the most loving thing I will ever experience it just will be unmatched because I know, especially having returned to Cuba, 
I know the extent of the sacrifice that they made.